Aloha. This is Joshua Bowles with Lyric Woodwork and Snake Road Sawmill. One of the most satisfying things for a furniture maker to make is a chair. Chairs have so much personality. They can be relaxed, they can be austere, formal. My goal was to design a chair, a dining chair, that had a bit of flair and a bit of an Italian sense to it. And so Gio Ponti, the mid-century Italian architect, was what I was looking at for inspiration. A dining chair with armrests and it's fairly compact, so they can be next to each other at a dining table. So the wood we've used is monkey pod. We use monkey pod for about 90% of our work because it has such excellent woodworking properties. It's got a great density. You can do joinery with it and it's very stable. And what we do with our sawmill is we will set aside the prettiest, finest pieces for chairs because that's really where we wanna use the best of the best. There's a few technical challenges in making chair. One of the things I think that makes a huge difference is to shape the seat. Just a bit of curvature in the seat makes it so much more comfortable. We start by cutting out a blank for our chair seat and then using a grinder attachment and a polisher, we shape the seat like you see here. And then we're ready to make the legs and the side. So one of the things that we're doing with this chair is we're incorporating leather armrests. And so here we've made this groove for the leather. We're just gonna wrap the top with a baseball stitch. So we make these, we attach them to the, to the seat. And now we're thinking about the back. We really want to have a curved backrest, but as you can see, this is a rustic shop and we don't have elaborate or fancy tools. So what we've done is we made a simple jig. So what we'll do is mill these pieces to be about an eighth of an inch thick and four of them from the same block of wood. Then we'll lay them in here with glue between each layer. So lay one down, glue, lay one down, glue. And at the end, we'll clamp this all together. And by the time the glue dries, it'll keep that shape. For chairs, the finish that we like to use is a tongue oil finish. We really don't want it to be too plastic or shiny. So a nice durable tongue oil with beeswax for the final polish. One of the important features of a chair as well is to have a really nice tactile sense. That's where the beeswax finish really helps. And it just has a nice buttery smooth feel. As an aspiring woodworker, I always wanted to make a chair, but I was a little bit intimidated by the challenge because as opposed to so many other pieces, you're building it in three dimensions. And there's so many angles and a quarter inch leaning forward too back or forward too much, and you don't have a chair you can use. It's also something that's really difficult to prototype because you wanna use the actual wood that you're going to use to make sure that the joints can accomplish what they need to accomplish. So really we have to make these chairs, the prototypes in the finished wood. We have many requests from clients for all kinds of chairs. This is a dining chair. It can also be a desk chair. And it's something that not too many furniture makers build because of the challenges. And it's also one that it's really hard to find a nice, handsome chair on the market. I've always felt there's something very cool about a custom chair. Imagine you go to a tailor to get a custom suit made, and so you have the ability to custom make a chair. Imagine someone is six foot or better or under five foot. Those people could have very different chairs. And if it's your desk chair, especially, and you're gonna be sitting in it for long periods of time, you should have a chair that fits your body. So if you would like a tailor-made chair, please visit our shop or give us a call. And thank you for subscribing to our channel.